This morning, we're celebrating every shade of green when it comes to our homes and our environment. And so to that end, we are going to talk about green spring cleaning today with some experts on the subject. Tim Ivankovic, co-founder and president of the Cleaning Authority, and Amy Charpentier, a married working mother of two children and the Cleaning Authority franchise owner in Jacksonville, Florida. A lot on your plate, my dear. Welcome to you both. <laughs> Thank you. Good to Thank be here. You. Mm -hmm. Well, spring is here, and we're going to get tips today, Amy. You're going to talk to us about how we can declutter our homes and recycle as well. What Absolutely. do we need to do? Absolutely. Um, first, start off by decluttering your home. Gather all those excess piles you have around the home. Your the schoolwork, oh, the right. newspapers, of catalogs, all of that. Most of it can be recycled. Mm -hmm. Make sure, though, before you recycle anything that has your personal information on it, that you go ahead and shred it first. True. Then you can gather up all the excess toys, clothes, furniture. Um, small appliances or even electronics that with their accessories that you're not using anymore. Mm -hmm. Take them down to your local thrift sh store or charity um, and donate them. And be sure to get a receipt so that so you can, can write that off. That off. Mm -hmm. That's true. Or even yeah. have a huge yard sale Absolutely. at the end of the day. Yeah, sure. yep. exactly. And make a little dough, right? Exactly. Those items that you're not using anymore that are worth the money yard sale, sell them online, you know, one person's trash is another person's treasure. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. That is my motto. I love that. And Tim, you know, you're president of a house cleaning uh, company that actually uses green products. So here's my question for you. We go ahead and declutter our, our places. We use your advice on that. Where do you come in in terms of the green products? And explain that to us because a lot of people might think that using green means it's probably not going to be as clean as it would otherwise. Sure, absolutely. Um, we use Green Seal certified products, okay. uh, HEPA filter vacuums, as well as microfiber mitts. In these chemicals and processes that we're using, we're going through and, and getting the dust out of customers' homes using static as opposed to chemicals. Ah, so there's so, no chemicals on the exactly. mitts, you're just using the static to clean it. Correct. Mm -hmm. You're a leader um, in the industry, which I find very impressive. You also um, inspect every home that you clean regularly. We do. Uh, we inspect uh, most of our homes on a regular basis to make sure the detail quality is where it needs to be. Uh, that's important to not just we as a company, but also our, our homeowners want to know that we're doing the right, the right job in their home. Uh, and we guarantee our cleans. I'm loving this so far. This is great. It's great advice. This is it? alleviating mm -hmm. a lot of headaches for me. Now, let me ask you something else. What can Danielle and I and, and women out there who are listening and watching do to make our home more green, if you will? Sure. There's some simple things you can do. Okay. Uh, first, you can change to compact fluorescent light bulbs. Uh, they last 10 times longer like and are 75% more efficient, so mm -hmm. it's cost effective for the homeowner as well. Uh, also, now that it's getting warmer and drier outside, open your windows and doors, use your ceiling fans to circulate the air through mm -hmm. your house, makes it cooler so you don't have to use your air conditioning unit as, as frequently. Uh, and also, people don't realize that a typical household faucet flows at about two gallons per minute. Wow. So doing simple things like shutting off the water when you're brushing your teeth or cleaning a, a, a dish in the sink, <sighs> little things like that can make a huge impact to the environment. And I'm just thinking about that because I'm shaking my head because that's something my kids don't do. <laughs> they, they let the faucet run and run. You can run. always hear it, right? Yeah. <laughs> and you know, Amy, I'm a working mother. I know, Christy, you are as well. And so are you, Amy. Mm -hmm. And so... I feel guilty, though, about hiring a cleaning service. Do you feel guilty? No. Oh, she's looking at me like, girlfriend, <laughs> No you? guilt. Guilt-free. Guilt-free. <laughs> so she doesn't feel guilty, which is great. So what can I do so that I don't feel guilty about hiring a cleaning service? Because I do want to spend more time with my family, ultimately. Well, I think what you need to realize is most people don't understand that, that hiring a cleaning service is actually affordable. Ah. And it's a huge time saver. A homeowner will spend about 15 hours a week cleaning so their home. So what is that a year? I'm afraid to ask. You're spending a month <gasps> out of every year cleaning your home. Wow. A month that could be spent 
spending with the kids? Absolutely. I know that myself and other busy families are concerned. They want their home to be inviting mm -hmm. and a safe place. And the Green Seal certified chemicals that we use, they are safe for your family, they're safe for your pets, mm -hmm. and they work just as well as the conventional cleaning products. Ah, that's good to know. And I Life's guess too the, short. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Isn't that to be spent, you know, cleaning? To clean your own house. Yeah, Absolutely. life is too short to clean your own house, so don't feel guilty in hiring a cleaning service. How do we know mm. if a company is really green and if they're not? Sure, great question, Christy. Um, it's very difficult sometimes to find an environmentally responsible cleaning service, especially with all the green washing and the advertising, not knowing who is and who isn't, who's certifying who. Uh, we think it's important and I think we gain credibility with our third party endorsements, being endorsed and, and partnering with Green Seal and their products, as well as following the practices of the Department of Health and Human Services. Uh, you also come into are, the home, I believe. We do, that's before. a great point too. So we meet with every customer before we start cleaning their home to explain to them what products we're going to use, what chemicals, how we're actually going to clean their house, an opportunity for a customer to ask those questions of, are you green or not? Well, thank you guys so much for being here. Lots of great information. And so what did you learn? I, I've learned a lot. I've learned that I am going to hire a cleaning service. I've learned that going green is obviously the way to go, and I do that anyway in, in other parts of my life. But I also learned that by doing this, I can spend more time with my friends and my family. And, Touche. You know, it's just, it's, it's so worth it. Thank Absolutely. you so much for having us, yeah, too. This was, was great. Great. This was great for us. Now I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to be calling him in about two minutes. All right, as soon as we get off the set here. And if you want more tips on cleaning green and to find one of the cleaning authorities, 180 wow. locations in 40 states. We're all over. Wow, to help you out, where do they visit? www.thecleaningauthority.com. <laughs> Easy enough. And coming up next, more of our green special, right? Absolutely. We're going to have a lot more coming up. We're going to find out what company has planted over, get this, 800 million trees because of a... Oh, she is so good. God bless you. A sneeze. Stay with us. <laughs>